it's nice that we can build custom search apps and then search directly off MindBeast for them. But generally, customers are going to want the ability to take this search app and go and embed it into their underlying application. Um, so for that, MindBreeze allows you to export uh, these search apps as a snippet and then import them into any other system. Uh, those systems could be Web Center Content, SharePoint, ServiceNow, could just be a website. Um, but if I hover over my app here, I have an export snippet button. I click that. This gives me all of the underlying CSS, JavaScript, and HTML. That I can just go embed into another system and run the search there. So if you were in the previous demo, you saw us uh, take this and go and embed it in Web Center content for kind of a quick approach to get it loaded into another system. Uh, today, we're going to go a little bit more in depth and kind of take a look at what a solution integration more built out would look like. Um, and then for that, we're going to use ServiceNow. So I have up here an app that I built previously called ServiceNow that we're going to use. I'll just show you that real quick. Again, search for all, bring back all the content. As you can see, I've got ServiceNow content being returned with some uh, ServiceNow specific metadata as facets on the left. All right, so we're gonna take that and to embed it into ServiceNow, we need to export our snippet and then go import it into ServiceNow. So just give me a second to jump over to my ServiceNow window. All right, so in ServiceNow, as some people on the demo probably already know, the pages are comprised of different widgets um, and ServiceNow allows developers to create their own custom widgets. So to embed um, our search app into ServiceNow, we have to create a custom widget uh, of our snippet. So let's go ahead and take a look at the widget editor. And I have created a widget called MB for my research app. If I open that up here, you can see I've taken that snippet uh, that I export that could be exported from MindBreeze and I've just dropped it uh, into our widget here. Next, I created a custom page called MindBreeze search. On this page, I just have that widget. And then the last thing I did was on the, or on the ServiceNow homepage, I updated the search box to point to our custom MB search page. So if we go to the ServiceNow homepage and just run our same search, uh, let's search for all one more time. As you can see, I am now inside of ServiceNow with our custom search app that was built with the MyBreeze search app builder. So as with any uh, integrated widget or solution, we wanna make sure that our search app looks like it fits the underlying application. So for that, we can add some simple CSS into our widget. Um, we previously wrote some CSS to drop in here to give it a nice look and feel. So I'm just gonna go grab that, bring it over to our widget, I'll drop it in and click save come back to our search app and do a refresh. And as you can see, we now have a search app styled inside of ServiceNow that's fully functioning searching ServiceNow data. Again, all of the out of the box features from the, the previous search app are available here as well. So I can do my filtering. I can paginate through the results. If I come to my search box here at the top and begin to search, you can see I'm presented with some search suggestions. Again, these search suggestions are based on the results that could come back in my search. Go ahead and search there. Uh, you can see that the highlighting is coming through as well. Uh, iPads being highlighted, as well as if I search for policy once more, you can see the stemmer, the underlying MindBree stemmer is at work. Uh, showing policy is policy. And then finally, if I click preview, I'm given the full context of this knowledge article. Um, again, showing the highlighting of why this, this search result is being returned. Last, if I click on these results, they will take me to the different knowledge articles or catalog items or uh, results inside of ServiceNow. All right, so now let's say down the road, based on user feedback or new requirements, um, we need to make a change to our search app. 
for our specific use case, let's say there's another filter we want to add to our application. With MindReads and the Search App Builder, this is easy to do. So I just simply need to go back to my Search App Builder. And let's go to our ServiceNow app, click Edit in Designer. Just go ahead and add one more facet on the left-hand side. Click plus, go to my filters. Uh, we'll do category display value for this one. You can see it's added in here. Uh, just make it collapsible to match the others and click save. Now, if I go back to ServiceNow and refresh, my search app automatically reflects that change from the search app builder. All right, so searching ServiceNow data inside of ServiceNow is great, but one of the main themes was centered around being able to extend this search to other systems or repositories without having to leave my app or leave ServiceNow. So the use case here is I'm a ServiceNow user. I spend most of my day inside of ServiceNow, uh, but every once in a while, I need to track down a document or a piece of data from another system. With MindBreeze, because of its service-based architecture, this integration is fairly easy to achieve. So let's say, again, I'm looking for my policy. And I realized, shoot, this policy isn't in service now. It's in a different system. Um, you'll notice here in the top right, I have a search all sources button. If I click that, I now it now takes my policy search and extends it to the other data sources that I have available to me in this search app. So as you can see, now it's bringing back LDAP, SharePoint, Web Center, and ServiceNow as well. Oh, and here I can see. I have SharePoint content being integrated directly with ServiceNow content. All right, so I've got a different uh, 360 degree view here, uh, app here, but I should go ahead and run my search. Again, it's a, a, a view of a customer, all the data about the customer, different documents, people, timeline, uh, the various projects that we're working with, as well as some support tickets. Um, but the, really what I'm trying to show here is that it can easily be embedded into any other system. So with a little bit of styling, um, this could look like it's gonna look or live directly in ServiceNow and be available to ServiceNow users within their own custom system or their own application. We've got a little chat bot embedded into the website here. If I click on my chat bot, so this is uh, kind of an HR chat bot really used to track PTO or have uh, users ask about their PTO. So if I have it, ask it kind of a simple question that it probably gets all the time, something like how much PTO do I have? As a chat bot would know, Simple question, it knows the answer. It can look it up in the back end system. You have eight hours of PTO remaining. Hmm. All right, so that's not really allowed, or that's not a lot. Um, let's say, am I allowed to work from home? Again, probably a question that gets fairly often. It knows how to respond. You can work from home. Just please talk to your manager about the requirements. But now, if we ask it more of an in depth question, well, what's our PTO policy? This it probably isn't gonna have a pre canned answer to. Um, so instead it decides, I don't have a really good response for this. I'm gonna take that search term, send it over to MindBreeze via API and ask it for some documents. MindBreeze then says, takes, takes our search term, runs a search and returns anything that it thinks is very relevant to the search. So as you can see, here's what my search brought you back, brings back three documents. I can just click on these. And as you can see, I'm presented with the uh, this is just fishbowl standard work for PTO management. <clears throat> so that's a quick view into how generally how chatbots and search are integrated together. 